This is the B-Movie by Liam Regan Casey for the league. Uh, my team sucked last year. Uh, it really fucking sucked, and I got to do this now. Um, so this is it, the B-Movie transcript from the top. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is possible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Yeah, let's shake it up a little. Coming. Oh, hang on a second. Hello? Barry? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? I can't believe it. I'll pick you up, bruh. Barry, why don't you use the stairs? Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. And a perfect report card. All Bs. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going on here. Ah, you got some lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you. Stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz Joe? A little. It's a special day. Finally graduating. Never thought I'd make it. Yeah. Three days grade school. Three days high school. Those were so awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took off one day in the middle and just hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Hey, Artie. Growing a mustache? Looks good. Hey, did you hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to his funeral? No, I'm not going to his funeral. Everybody knows you sting someone, you die. You don't waste it on a fucking squirrel. He was such a hothead. Yeah, I guess. He could have just gotten out of the way. Whoa. Ooh. I love this incorporating an amusement park right into a regular day. I guess that's why they don't... I guess that's why they say we don't need a vacation. Boy, quite a bit of a pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are. Be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buzzwell. Welcome New Hive City, graduating class of 915. And that concludes our graduation ceremonies. And begin your career at Hunnex Industries. Are we going to pick our jobs today? I heard it's just orientation. Ha. Huh. Whoa. Heads up. Here we go, Adam. Keep your heads and antennas inside the train at all times. Montaga sus manos y antennas dentro del tranvía en todo momento. Wonder what it's going to be like. A little scary. Welcome to Hunnex, a division of Hunesco and part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Wow. We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring back the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into this sweet syrup and its distinctive golden glow known as honey that girl was hot she's my cousin she is yes we're all cousins right you're right at hanux we also constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence these bees are stress testing a new helmet technology Ooh, what do you think he makes not enough and here we have our latest advancement the Krellman. Wow, what does that do? Catches that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Uh, can anyone work on the Krellman? Of course. Most, bees job, most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot, which use carefully because you'll stay in the job that you pick for the rest of your life. The set... The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? Huh? 
And you'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. Whoa. So you'll just work us to death? Well, sure try. <laughs> wow. That blew my mind. What's the difference? Adam, how could you say that? One job forever? That's the insane choice to have to make. Well, I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they have never told us that? Barry, why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. Yeah, but Adam, did you ever think that maybe things work a little too well around here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second, Adam. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Whoa. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like to go outside the hive. Yeah, but some of them don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder what those guys have just. I wonder where those guys have just been. I don't know. Their day is not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide one day to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look at that. That's more pollen than you and I have ever seen in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. You think bees make too big a deal out of it? Perhaps. Unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Ha ha ha. Those ladies? Aren't they our cousins too? Distant. Distant. Look at those two. Couple of hive hairies. Let's have some fun with them. It must be so dangerous being a pollen jock. Oh yeah, one time a bear had me pinned up against a mushroom. He had one paw on my throat. And with the other, he was slapping me back and forth across the face. Oh my! I never thought I'd knock him out. And what were you doing? When, what were you doing during all this? Obviously, I was trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that if you want. A little gusty out here today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. Yeah, we're going to hit a sunflower patch about six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Very. It's a paddle jump for us, but, uh, maybe if you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going 0900 at J-Gate. Whoa. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Honix. Oh, Dad, you surprised me. <laughs> Have you decided what you're interested in, son? Well, there's lots of choices. But you only get one. Ha ha ha. Dad, do you ever get bored from doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you something about stirring. You grab that stick, and you just move it around, and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey feel just isn't right for me. And you were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Well, no. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Oh, Barry, you're so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stir. You're going to be a stir? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have for you. I could say anything I want right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Oh, let's open some fresh honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Shave my antenna. So funny. Shack up with a grasshopper. Get a gold tooth and start calling everybody dog. I'm so proud. I can't believe we're starting work today. Today is the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt bee, pouring, stir, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on, two left. And one of them's yours. Congratulations, son. Step to the side, please. Yeah? What do you get? Picking the crud out. Whoa. That is stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies. 
Yes, sir, our first day. And we are ready. Well, step up and make your choice. Adam, do you want to go first? Uh, no, you go. Oh my, what's available? Restroom attendance always open. And not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting on the Krellman, sir? Sure, you're on. Oh, I'm sorry. The Krellman just closed up. Oh. Wax Monkey's always open. And the Krellman just opened up again. What happened? Well, whenever a bee dies, that's an opening. See? He's dead. Dead, another dead. One. Deady. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. But, that's a life. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stunt bee, pourer, stir, humming, inspector, number seven, lint coordinator, stripe supervisor, antenna ball polisher, mite wrangler. Barry, what do you think I should bury? Barry? All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine, geranium window box on Sutton Place. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. Oh, no. I have to before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're going to die. You're crazy. Hello? Oh, another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey, guys. Well, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're going to take him up. Yeah? Feeling lucky. Are you? Sign here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, bees cannot fly in the rain. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms, honey sticks, dogs, birds, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home just because of it. And babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for all you rookies. Be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right. Launch positions. <laughs> black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Hello? You ready for this, Hotshot? Yeah, bring it on. Wind check. Antenna check. Nectar pack check. Wings check. Stinger check. Scared out of my shorts check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped sem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Whoa, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue, woohoo. I feel so fast and free. Box kite, wow. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Falowas. Falowas. This is Blue Leader. We have Rose's visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses. 30 degrees, Roger. Bring it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. Oh, that is one nectar collector. You ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here. Sprinkle it over here. Maybe you dash over there. I'm going to pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic, ain't it? Wow, that's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power, kid. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar. More honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Hold on. One of those flowers seems to be on the move. Say again. Are you reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving the color. Ah, it smells good, but not like a flower. But I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. Hey, Candy Brain. Get off there. Problem? Guys, this could be bad. <laughs> Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You're way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I think this is the tennis ball soon, guys. Uh, you know, where they're playing tennis. You know, I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You could just start backing up on it because I believe you're about to eat it. What? Oh no, you cannot be serious. Yowzer. There's a bee in the car. 
Do something. I'm driving. Hi, V. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Wow. Tension level out here is unbelievable. I got to get home. I can't fly in right. Can't fly. Can't fly. Ken, can you close the window, please? Huh? Oh, hey. Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see? Folds out. Oh, no. More humans. I don't need this. Oof. Ow. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. Great. Ah. This, that is diabolical. It's all got my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. What's your number one? Star Wars? Nah, you don't go for that. Kind of stuff. No wonder we're not supposed to talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I walk out of a job interview, they're flabbergasted. They can't even believe the things I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I gotta tell you, I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter at first. I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B. Kill it, kill it. Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill them. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Well, why does his life have any less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying that all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. I'm not scared of him, but yeah, it's an allergic thing. Hey, why don't you put that resume... Why don't you put that on your resume brochure? It's not funny. My whole face could puff up. Hmm, you make it one of your special skills. You know, knocking someone out is a special skill. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night? Uh, yeah, sure can. You know, whatever. You could put carob chips on there. Bye. It's supposed to be less calories or something. Bye. <laughs> I gotta say something. She saved my life. I've got to say something. All right, here it goes. What would I say? I could really get into trouble. It's a B-law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Um, Hi. Uh, I'm sorry. Ha, huh, you're talking. Yes, I know. I know, I'm so. You're talking. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. It's fine. I'm just... I know, I'm dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. Well, you know, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. Yeah, well, this is a bit surprising to me. I mean, you're a bee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bee. And you know, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but... They were all trying to kill me, and if it wasn't for you, I mean, I had to thank you. It's just the way I was raised. Oh, that was a little weird. I'm talking to a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee. Anyway. Yeah. And the bee is talking to me. Um, I just want to say that I'm grateful and I'm going to leave now. Wait, 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 wait. How did you learn to do that? What? That, that, that. The talking thing. Oh, same as you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey. You pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway, can I uh, get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, coffee? Well, uh, I don't want to put you out. Unless we're making it anyway. Oh, it's no trouble. Oh, it takes two minutes. Really? It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want a little rum cake? <laughs> I really shouldn't. Have a little rum cake. 
No, no, no. I can't. Oh, come on. You know, I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms here. Where? Well, these stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. So he finally gets there. Uh-huh. He runs up the steps in the church. The wedding is on. Yeah. And he says, Watermelon? I thought you said Guatemalan. Uh-huh. Why would I marry a watermelon? Ha-ha. <laughs> Ha-ha. Very funny. Oh, is that a bee joke? Yeah, that's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So anyway, what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive. But I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor. But I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with the same campaign slogan. Oh, huh. Anyway, you see if you look. There, there's my hive right there. You can see it. Oh, you're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, you know the turtle pond? Yes, I'm right off of that. Oh, no way. I know that area. Do you know I lost a toe ring there once? Really? Yeah. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Well, why not? I don't know. It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Oh yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry, I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you, um, can I take a piece of this with me? Sure, here. Have a crumb. Oh, thanks. Yeah. All right, well, I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Or... Okay, Barry. And thank you for so much again for before. Oh, that? That was nothing. Well, not nothing, but... This can't possibly work. Well, he's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave. Pull the shoot. Sounds amazing. Oh, it was amazing, Adam. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, humans. I can't believe you were with the humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy, giant things. They drive around real crazy. And do they try to kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back? Poodle. Look, you did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see out there. You had your experience, and now you're back. You can pick up your job, and everything can be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You met someone? Was she beeish? Mmm, not a wasp. Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider? You know, I'm not attracted to the spiders. I know everyone else, it's like the hottest thing with the eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. Ugh. So, uh, who is she? She's, uh, a human. Oh, no, no, no. That didn't happen. You didn't do that. That is a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, oh boy. She's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh, no, no, no. You didn't eat human first? Well, we're not dating. You're flying outside the hive? You're talking to human beings that attack our homes with power washers and M80s? That's one-eighth a stick of fucking dynamite, bro. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. That was so stinging stripey. And that's not even what they eat. That just falls off of what they eat. Do you know what a Cinnabon is? No. It's bread. Come in here. And cinnamon. Be quiet. 
and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have to start thinking BB, my friend. Thinking like a bee. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. <laughs> Thinking B. Oh, man. There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I've got to start thinking B. Barry, how much longer is this going to... How much longer is this going to go on, son? It's been three days. I don't understand why you're not working. Well, I've got a lot of big life decisions, and I'm thinking about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Ugh. Barry, would it kill you to just make a little honey? Barry, come out from under there. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything? All set. You go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa! We're still here, Barry. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond when you yell at him. Then why are you yelling at me? Because you don't listen. Ah, I'm not listening to this. Sorry, Mom. I've got to go. Where are you going, Barry? Nowhere. I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's B-ish. So they have a huge parade of just flowers every year in Pasadena. Oh, to be in the Tournament of Roses, that's every florist's dream. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, everyone's cheering. Wow, a tournament. Do the roses actually compete in athletic events? Uh, no. Alright, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Hmm. Why don't you run everywhere? Isn't that faster? Yeah, okay. I see, I see. Alright, your turn. Ah, TiVo. You can't just freeze live TV. That's insane. What? You don't have anything like that? We have HIVO, but it's a disease. It's horrible. Horrible disease. Oh, my. Dumb bees. You must just want to sting all those jerks. We really try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper? Oh, yeah. Very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter, and throw it out. <coughs> Holy shit. You work through it. Like any emotion. Anger, jealousy lust oh my goodness are you okay yeah woo what is wrong with you it's a bug well he's not bothering anybody get out of here you creep what was that a pick and save circular yeah it was how did you know it felt like about 10 pages 75 cents pretty much our limit or 75 is pretty much our limit Boy, you've really got that down to a science. Oh, we have to. I lost a cousin to Italian folk. I'll bet. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? QP, Golden Blossom, Ray Liotta, Private Select? Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people, we eat it. Why? You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes, we... How do you even get it? Well... Bees make it. I know who makes it. Then it's hard to make. They're heating and cooling and stirring. You know, you need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's our organic. It's just honeyberry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, our schools, our hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Uh, so Barry's got the Ray Liotta Private Select Honey. Mm. Hey, Hector, you almost done? Almost. 
He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. Just have to leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. Aha! I knew I heard something. So you can talk. Oh, I can talk. And now you're going to start talking. Where are you getting all the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't know what you're talking about. I thought we were all friends. The last thing you want to do is upset any of you. Bees! Ha! You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, are about to be lunch for my iguana. Ignacio! Where's the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Oh, my. What horrible thing has happened here? Look at these faces. They never knew what hit them. And now they're on the road to nowhere. Psst. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead, man? Hey, man. No limp anything that moves. Ah, where are you headed? To Honey Farms. I'm on to something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. What about you? He really is dead. All right. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh, no, it's a wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on. It's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. For NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Cassell. But no, but don't kill no more bugs. Who's blood guy? You hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. Hey, what's up, you boy? Hey, blood. Wow. So I'm assuming wherever this honey truck goes, that's where they're getting it. I mean, that's the, that that honey's ours. Bees hang tight. Well, they're all jammed in here. It's a close community. Not us, man. We're on our own. Every mosquito is on his own. What if we get in trouble? What if you get in trouble? Trouble? You're a mosquito. You're in trouble. Nobody likes us. They're all just smacking. People see a mosquito smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet a lot of girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth, dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. Whoa, you've got to be kidding me. Mooseblood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey, guys. I knew I'd get you down here. You bring any crazy straws? Then we throw it in some jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got... The brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Hey, check out the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you want. The Thomas 3000? Smoker? 90 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic, twice the nicotine, all the tar. A couple of breaths of this knocks them right out. They make honey, and we make the money. They make the honey. We make the money. Oh, my. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. How did you two get here? Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? A queen has moved here. We had no choice. That's your queen? That's a man in women's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Bee honey, our honey. It's being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything the bears have ever done to us. And I intend to do something about it. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you about the humans are taking our honey? That's just a rumor, son. Do these look like rumors, Dad? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored photos. Ugh. Barry, did you get mixed up in all this? Because he's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend. Oh, Barry. And they make out. Make out, Barry. We do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. 
I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Man, those crazy legs kept me up all night. Hachawiwa. <laughs> Barry, this is what you want to do with your life? This is what I do with this is what I want to do with all of our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home some nights so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop them. Ugh. I remember that. What right do they have our hard what right do they have to our harder honey? Honey, we're living on two cups a year. They're putting in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, Barry. What could one bee do about it? I'm gonna sting them where it really hurts. In the face? No. In the eye? That would really hurt. No. At the nose? That's a killer, huh? No. There's only one place you can sting humans. One place where it really matters. Hive at five. The hive's only full hour action news source. With Bob Jumble at the anchor deck. Weather with Storm Stinger sports with Buzz Larvae. And Jeanette Chung. Good evening. Good evening. I am Bomb Bumble. And I am Jeanette Chung. Our top story at Tri County B. Barry Benson is saying that he intends to steal the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting from it legally. Don't forget, tomorrow night's on B. Larry King, we're going to have three former queens, all right, here in our studio, discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight, we're going to be talking with Barry Benson. Did you ever think, I'm just a kid, from the hive, I can't do this? Larry, bees have never been afraid to change the world, I mean. What about B. Columbus? B. Gandhi? B. Jesus? Well, where I'm from, you wouldn't think of sued humans. We were thinking more like stickball, uh, candy stores. How old are you? Well, uh, I want to know that the entire bee community is supporting you in this case which is certain to be the trial of the bee century. Thank you, Larry. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world, too. It's a common name. Next week, on Bee Larry King. No, I mean, he looks like you, and he has a show with suspenders of different colored dots behind him. Next week, on Bee Larry King. Old guy glasses, and there's quotes along the bottom from the guests you're watching, even though you just heard them. Bear next week, you scary. They're hairy. And they're here live. Always lean forward. Point to your shoulders. Squitty eyes. Very Jewish. Look, in tennis, you attack the point of weakness. But it was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Uh, honey? Her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same B? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. What? Oh, hello. Hello, B. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size ten and a half, fiber and soul, I believe. Why does he talk again, hon? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Oh, bye, bye, bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? Oh, you poor thing. You two have been up up at this for hours? Yes, and Adam has here has been a huge help. How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. Oh. So why are you helping me anyway? Bees have good qualities. Si, certo. And it feels good to take my mind off the shop. I don't know why, instead of flowers. People are giving balloon bu bouquets now. Yeah, those are great, if you're three. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. The bent stingers, the pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake plastic things. There's nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Well, maybe we can make this up for a little bit. You know, Barry, this lawsuit is a pretty big deal. I guess. Are you sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home, without paying a royalty. Sir, it's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan, where all the eyes and ears of the world are anxiously waiting. Because for the first time in history, we're going to hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. 
What have we gone into here, Barry? I don't know, but it's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't have to be at work during the day. Hey, you think these billion dollar billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Folks, everybody needs to stay back behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. Just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, any of you boys work on this? <laughs> All rise. Right. The Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right. Case number 4475, Superior Court of New York. Barry B. Benson versus the Hyundai industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five major food companies collectively. A privilege. Ah, Mr. Benson, you're representing all bees of the world? Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor. We are ready to proceed. Hey, Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a sample woman, born on a farm. She believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we were to live in the tops of turbid world, Mr. Benson imagines, just, just, just think of what it would mean. Maybe I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my breeches. Talking B... How do we know this is some sort of holographic motion picture captured from Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. And as a bee, honey is pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it, and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take whatever they want from us because we're the little guys. And I'm hoping that after all this is over, you'll see by taking our honey that you're not the only that you're not only taking away everything we have, but everything we are. Oh, I wish I could dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Miss Klaus Vaderhaden of Honey Farms. Pretty big company you have here. I suppose so. And I see you also own Honey Burton and Honoron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper. I find that to be a very disturbing term, I have to say. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? Uh, n no. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. <clears throat> no. No. Because you don't free bees, you keep bees. And not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be appropriate image for a jar of honey. Well, well, they're very lovable creatures. Uh, Yogi Bear, Fozzie Bear. Oh, uh, Build a Bear? Yeah, you mean like this? Roar. Roar, roar, roar. They bring a bear. Into the courthouse in the scene. I remember that. Bears kill bees. How would you like this big hairy head crashing through your living room? Biting into your couch, spitting out your pillows. Wah, wah, wah. Wah. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. I have to stay. Where have I heard it before? Uh, it was with a band called Sting. Oh, fuck me. I was with a band called the police. But you're never you've never been a police officer of any kind, have you? Uh no, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of bee culture being casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prince about stage name. Oh please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung. Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner. <gasps> That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Leota, may I offer you my belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I also see that your resume, that you're also devilishly handsome, but with a churning inner turmoil that's always ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? 
not yet it isn't. But is this what you? But is this what it's come for you, Mister Leota? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part, and rehearse your lines, sir. Oh, <laughs> watch it, Benson! I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. What is it, someone just? Step with this little creep and we can all go home. You're all thinking it. Say it. Order, order. Order in this courtroom, I say. Mr. Leota, sit down. Well, I just think it was awfully nice to hear a baron pitch like that. I'm telling you, I think the jury's on our side. Are you doing everything right? You know, legally? I'm a florist. Right, right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. To a great team. Uh, well, hello. Oh, Ken. Hello. Uh, I didn't think you were coming. Uh, no. I was just late. I tried to call, but, uh, the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I, I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that was lucky. Well, there's still a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. I find the ball a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume. And he agreed with me that... Isn't Eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? Hey, look, I know how hard it is trying to find the right job. We certainly have that in common. Do we? Well, bees have 100% employment, of course. But we do jobs like taking the credit out. Well, that's what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your, fuzzy, your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was alright. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Huh, look at that. Yeah, you know, just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. It's a lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life any more valuable than mine? That's funny. I can't seem to recall. <laughs> I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. Yeah. How do you love the smell of flames? Not as much. Waterbug, not taking sides. Barry's on the toilet. Take comes out. Oh, shit. Ken, look at me. I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, well, well. A royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? Surf's up, dude. Poo water. That bowl is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know what? I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee, and he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time. What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine, talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. Ugh. Whew. And for your information, I prefer sugar free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me and couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Are you going to be okay for the trial tomorrow? Oh, I believe Mr. Montgomery is about is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Manson to the B stand. Now that's a good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the very best lawyers. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Gamble. The only thing I have to do is turn this jury around is to remind them they don't like bees. You got tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to you losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B. I'll ask what I think. We'd all like to know. 
what exactly is your relationship to that woman? Or we're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? What? Do you live together? Wait a minute. This isn't about... Are you her little... Bad bug? Hey, that's not the kind of... I've seen a bee documentary or two. Now, from what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children in the hive? Yeah, but... So those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's announcing bees. And don't y'all date your cousins? Objection. I'm going to pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I'm hit. Order, order, order. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. Mr. Montgomery. I've been failed by a winged beast of destruction, you see. We can't treat them like equals. They're stripped savages. Striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. Take it easy. Oh, what an angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaven buttocks. Please, will I have order in this court? Order, order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal team stung Leighton T. Gummery. Now here's Don with the five-day news. Hey, buddy. Hey. Is there much pain? Yeah. I... I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. The important thing is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria. They got it from downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery on it. What was that like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all a journey of an ecstasy. All right. You think that was all a trap? Of course. I flew us right into this. I'm sorry. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What do you think the humans will do if, if they win? I don't know. I hear they put their roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Say, could you get a nurse to close out that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. Adam, that's it. That's our case. It is? It's not over? No, get up. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. You get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done twenty nine, step 29 correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Flamin. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. You know, bees are, full, are trained to fly kind of haphazardly. And as a result, quite often we don't make very good time. I actually once heard a pretty funny story about a bee. Your Honor, having these ridiculous plugs taken up enough of the court's valuable time, how much longer are we going to, going to allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients, who have all run perfectly legitimate, perfectly legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of the entire case. Mr. Flamman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What, this? This harbors little contraption? This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Members of the, of the jury, look at what's... Look at what has happened to bees who have never been asked, smoking a non. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcefully, forcefully addicted to these smoke machines and man-made wooden slap work camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves to the white men? What are we going to do? He is playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free the bees. Free the bees, free the bees. Free the bees, free the bees, free the bees. Free the bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. Yay, I know you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay, Vanessa. 
Do you know what this means? All the honey is finally going to belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry. How much how much honey do you think there do you think is out there? Alright, alright. One at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montgomery is right? What do you mean? We've been living the B way a long time, twenty seven million years. Congratulations on your victory. What are you what are your demands as a settlement? First, we're going to demand a cup to demand a complete shutdown of all B work camps. Then we want back the honey that was ours to begin with, every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, big headed, bad breath stink machine. I believe we're all well aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my single signal, take him out. He'll have nausea for a few hours, then I'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate B negative nicknames. But it's just a prance about stage name. Unnecessary illusion, inclusion of bee and bogus health products and la di da human tea time snack artishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Oh, they're right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your keys, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball. We're shutting down honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh, yeah? What's going on around here? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? No, they're just home. They don't know what to do. They're laying out. They're sleeping in. I heard your uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Yeah, but sometimes I think, so what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This is my new desk. This is my new job. I want to do it really well. And now, and now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. We have so much now. Oh, their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh no, oh my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know. I'm going to guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I guess I don't think that bees not needing to make honey would affect all these other things. And it's not just flowers, vegetables. They all need bees. Well, that's her old SAT test right there. So you take away the produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? And I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How would we do it? I'll sting you. You step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. <clears throat> I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa? Vanessa, where are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final turn of Roses Parade in Pasadena. They've moved it up to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever get to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant for it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. Turn them into roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses? Roses? Roses! Vanessa! Roses? Barry? Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers, bees, pollen. I know. <coughs> That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Would you ask him to slow down? Would you slow down? Barry! Okay, I made a huge mistake. That is a total disaster, and it's all my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet, and I wanted to help you. With your flower shop, instead I've made it worse. Actually, it completely closed down. 
I thought maybe you were remodeling. <coughs> Nonetheless, I have another idea, and it's greater than all my previous great ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right, here's what I'm thinking they have. Here's what I'm thinking. They have the roses. The roses have pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in the park. All we got to do is get what they, they've got back here with what we've got. Bees. Park. Pollen. Flowers. Repollination. Across the nation. All right. Tournament of Roses passing in California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD. Floral official business. Official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. That's a nice brochet, by the way. Thank you. It was a gift. Then once we're inside, we just pick the right float. How about the princess and the pea? Yeah. I could be the princess and... Yes, I think you could be... I've... The pea. Yes, I got it. Sorry, I'm late. Where should I sit? What are you? I believe in the pea. The pea? It's supposed to be under the mattresses. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm going to talk to the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then we... Then all we do is blend in with traffic. Without arousing suspicion. And once we're at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop, security. Did you... And your insect pack your own float? Yes. Has this float been in your possession the entire time? Will you remove your shoes and everything in your pockets? Can you remove your stinger, sir? Uh, that's part of me. I know. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then, if we're lucky, we'll have enough time. We'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job? I think this is going to work, Vanessa. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. I'm afraid we have a bit of bad weather in the New York area, and looks like we're going to experience a couple hours of delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I've got to get up there and talk to these guys. Be careful. Hey, can I get some help with the Skymall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear trimmer. Excuse me, Captain. I'm in a real situation here. What did you say, Al? I didn't say anything. B! Oh, no. Don't freak out. There's a chance my entire species... What are you doing? Stop! Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who is an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain speaking. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom and 24B please report to the cockpit? And please hurry... What happened here? I tried to talk to them, and there was a dust buster, a toupee, a life raft exploded. Now one's bald, one's in a boat, and they're both unconscious. Is that another bee joke? No. No one's flying the plan. This is JFK Control Tower, Flight 356. What is your status? Um, this is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Is there anyone on board who has flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the Honey Trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge en engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait a minute, Barry. We're headed into some lightning. This is Bob Mumble. We have some elite breaking news from JFK Airport, where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh off of his stunning legal victory, that's Barry, is now attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? Well, we have an electric electrical storm in the area, and two individuals at the controls of a jumbo jet with absolutely no flight experience. Just wait a minute, Mr. Dishwater. There's a honeybee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson's work and his no-account compadres. Haven't they done enough damage already? But isn't he your only hope right now? 
come on, technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. The wings are too small, and their bodies are too big. Hey, hold on a second. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass doesn't make sense. Get this on the air. You got it. Stand by. We're going live. Mr. Ditchwater, the way the way we work may be a mystery to you, because making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs, but let me tell you something about a small job. If you do it really well, it makes a big difference. More than we realized to us or to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to doing what we do best working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow, black and yellow. Left, right, down, hover. Hover? Forget hover. You know what? This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? Wait a minute. I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me, and now we're not. Well, then it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Our only chance is if I do what I do and you caught me with the wings of the plane. You don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We happen to be in a lot of trouble here. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I don't think I can do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. Listen to me. You have to snap out of it. You snap out of it. You snap out of it. No, you snap out of it. You snap out of it. No, you snap out of it. No, you snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on. It's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Hey, Benson. You got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks. They do get a f behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. All right, you two. What do you say we drop this tin can, tin can on the blacktop? What blacktop? Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You got to think like a bee, Barry. Thinking bee, thinking bee. Thinking bee, thinking bee, thinking bee. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. But it's strong and it's pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose of the plane down. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay. Cut the engines. Cut the engines. We're going in on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Land on that flower. Ready, boys? Give me full reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower, not that flower. The other flower. Which flower? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean the jack, the giant black and yellow flower pulsating, made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Bring your tail up. Rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo ca -choo, or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid of it. Smell it. Full reverse. Easy. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No high five. All right. Barry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius, man. Genius. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. The runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who can make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. So what do you say? Are we going to be bees? Or just the Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees. Keychain. And everyone follow me, except Keychain. Hold on, Barry. You've earned this. Yay. I'm a pollen jock, and it's a perfect fit. 
All I got to do were the sleeves. Oh, yeah. That's our berry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Yes, can I help who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It is. Be approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream cheese, it's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Sometimes, I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate here will be able to help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too? I was already kind of a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order for a wedding. And I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. Your life saver, Barry. Can I help who's next? Who's next? All right, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. Ugh. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You've got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Me? Thinking B. Thinking B. Get smart and thinking B. G. Flying here and buzzing there. I'm loving the views. Listen to, to me. Listen to me, cousin. Every buzzer must used to be a B. Or not to be. Start thinking B. Barry, you got no occupation. What, you mean like pollination? Hey now, that's thinking B. Start thinking B. Listen to me, fella. And you been on a tour? Ancient stripes of black and yellow? I just want to be sure to be a B. Start thinking B. Can I wait and see? No, Barry, that's not to be. Be a busy little B and not a tizzy little B. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's stop for a second, hold it. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop there? Oh, Barry. I'm not making a major life decision in the middle of a huge musical production number. All right, all right. Take 10, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. I had virtually no rehearsal on that. And that is it. B-movie. Finn.